Hey everybody, it's Dave Dugdale, learningvideo.com. Just a quick overview slash maybe review of the Pilotfly RM1. I guess that stands for remote one. <laughs> it's a Bluetooth enabled device. If you've got an Android phone, you probably don't need this, but if you're like me and you have an iPhone, which I don't believe um, compared to this device like the uh, Android phones can, you might consider this. It's kind of pricey, it's $72. Um, you can see I can uh, pan with it. You can see I've got it set up really slow in the software to pan back and forth. That's just the way I've got it. I like to have it set up so I don't get judder. If you pan too quickly, you can get judder with these types of cameras. Um, you, it's got a time-lapse mode, so you can actually have it rotate 360 degrees in certain time increments. I never need a circular time-lapse, but if you wanted to, it'll do 60 seconds, 60 minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, and 120 minutes. You know, just stepping through as it take photos. Um, it's got, you know, a roll axis. Um, you can change that. A lot of times what will happen is with the simple BGC software, all the ones that I've reviewed from the Came TV single to Nebula to the DS1 to the MS1, or there's a lot of them out there. They all have a similar problem where you might calibrate for what's going on inside temperature and then you go outside or something might change and you might go through the calibration modes while you're outside maybe it's 30 degrees outside in fahrenheit and it just has this this problem this happens like all the time you can see it's like tilted it wouldn't tilt maybe that much it would probably tilt i'd say you'd have a kind of a tilt like just a little bit like one or two degrees off and you're like i can't use it you know and you're like all frustrated and you get out and you calibrate it it's just not working i've had this frustration before so what i've done in here there's a button on the back of the h2 you just i just press it four times and i assigned it to the roll axis um, but you could also do it with this so if you're not into getting into the software and changing stuff um, you might consider buying this one because you can quickly and easily get your horizon back on level and then you're good to go so that solves one of the biggest problems with the simple BGC software. I don't even know if it's called simple BGC. I think they changed their name or something. Again, I'm no expert on here with this. I will say I did an hour video on my second YouTube channel, maybe like a year ago or something like that on the Pilotfly H1 Plus. And I show how I balanced it um, physically. And then I also, you know, balanced it and went through all the PID settings and more um, in the software. So you might want to check that out. Maybe I'll put a link to it right here on my hand. I think it's on my second YouTube channel. It's been so long. Um, that might help you out. It's not on the H2 and the software has changed. So it might not be like your perfect guide. Um, you might search for other people that have balanced the H2 and have shared their experience. I don't think I'm going to make another video on it. This works fantastic. In terms of sharing my settings, it doesn't really work either. I've tried it. I don't know exactly why, but I could give you all my settings. I could probably even send you the files. I could upload drop blocks, but somebody else is gonna put it on and it's a Dave, it doesn't work. And maybe you're using an ND filter, or maybe you're using a slight, maybe you're putting a microphone on top, or maybe you're doing something slightly different, or maybe the encoders are were wired slightly different that day. I don't know, but um, the way I've got it set up, it took me like, I don't know, a whole weekend, maybe a couple hours each day of just going out, walking with it, coming back, playing around with the software, going out, trying it again, you know, moving it abruptly, trying different moves and doing a lot of different things and then just keep fine tuning the software and I've got it set up exactly the way I like and it works great. In fact, I'm using it tonight. So I, I did that H2 review several months ago and people were like, I like the review, I got it and it's just not working right. And I'm like, well, just be patient. Just all I wanted to say here is just be patient and just keep trying and keep iterating with the software. And again, you could ask me a bunch of questions on the software. Um, it's more of me doing trial and error. <laughs> it's just, let me try, bump it up five increments here and let's go out and try it again. And that sounds like such a pain in the butt and it is. And there's so many different things because some one setting will affect a different setting. And it's um, quite complicated, but the end result of what these things can do are just amazing. And I know there's another one that just came out that's even cheaper than this one. What is it called? A lot of people are like Zen U or something like that. I know several people that have gotten it in recently and, and have enjoyed using it. So I haven't reviewed that one. Um, 
and there's another I'm in my pilot H2 review I mentioned that there I was waiting for another one to review um, it hasn't come out yet and I will let you know when it does that's all I can say um, and that's pretty much it um, I've got some other products I'm reviewing in fact I just released a video on my second YouTube channel on this uh, ISO ISO I, I, I don't even know how you pronounce it um, it's a 10-bit uh, monitor um, so if you want to check that out also I've got in the Yi technology um, 4k GoPro killer I guess you could say it's got touch screen on the back which is freaking awesome um, so far just image quality on this thing is actually quite good and I just got this case in I had to buy it actually the cameras on loan but I had to buy the case because B&H didn't have them unfortunately but even the case everything on this thing is very similar anyway I'm rambling um, I will cut this video short and that's pretty much your overview on this again if you have an Android device like you probably don't even need this but if you're an iPhone user and you having problems with that tilt axis like this correcting it out in the field this might be something you want to consider a little bit pricey at $72 but that's pretty much it I'll talk to you guys later bye